Hello and welcome. It's a very exciting day today. We have uh, the award-winning YA young adult author Sarah Crossan. Hello. On the couch. Hello. Nice how are to you? See you? I am so well. This is fabulous, ladies and gentlemen. This book, Moonrise. Um, Sarah has an ability to make grown men. I'd like to point out cry quite a lot through her literature, of course. Yes. Um, and actually make everybody cry. Um, and this is no exception. It's an absolutely beautiful book. Um, Shall we just jump straight to do the book, the premise of the book, what it is, mm -hmm. and where it came from? All right, so the premise of the book is that there's a guy called Joe, whose brother Ed is on death row yeah. in Texas, and he goes to visit him because Ed has been given his execution date. So he has about so five weeks left, Yeah. and so Joe visits him to comfort him and to support him and to try and, I suppose, get him off death row, do yeah. whatever he can. Um, and the, the inspiration from the for the story was, I saw a documentary called 14 Days in May about a guy called Edward L. Johnson. Um, it was a BBC documentary. Who, he was on death row in Mississippi. And the documentary follows the last 14 days of his life. And at the end of the documentary, you see him saying goodbye to the camera crew, goodbye to his family. And I wondered what happened to the family. Yeah. And that was the inspiration. And I, and I saw that documentary when I was 15. So in some ways, I feel like the book has been in my head and has been brewing for yeah. a really, really long time. And it's set in... Just decades. Yes. <laughs> and it's set in America? Set in Texas. Texas. Set Texas and Staten Island. Yeah. Because yeah. Um, I lived there. Well, I didn't live in either. Of I lived in New Jersey for yeah. seven years. And um, for anybody who hasn't read your books before, and why not? What, what are you doing, people? Um, your style of writing is slightly different to what people would normally get in novel, but yeah. it's, it's a beautiful thing. I just Thank want to you. say that. But uh, <laughs> this, your style of writing, why have you chosen that? So it looks like, you know, obviously yeah. it looks like poetry, um, and I would sort of say it's poetry. It's written in verse, and I love the verse format because I can miss out all the boring bits. Yeah. I just write these standalone poems, and then I thread them together. Yeah. Um, and also, all the white space is the bit for the reader to do the work. Yeah. So what I love about writing this kind of book is that readers respond so differently because they've done half the writing. Yeah. So maybe I'm just a bit lazy, and all other people. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. It's, it's, it takes really long time. So when I start to write, and I realise that oh, it's going to be in verse, I think oh no, because yeah. I, I know that I can write a thousand words a day if it's prose, but if it's verse, it's a little. Tricky. But I, I've talked to people before, and I, I, you know, I think it was at a panel I, I, we were discussing before, and you how people read the books and it's absolutely good yeah, but then they dip back in as if it's poetry and so it is and I thought that doesn't make any sense that you can just go back and read four pages just in the middle of it. and actually when you go back you can actually yeah. almost read it in chunks and I think that's something that especially on one you found you were able to go back and I think that's an added something that I suppose you don't get from a novel you can just go back to a novel and just read four pages in the middle of the so no. that kind of added thing yeah, to it's me. Been, that's been really nice and, and schools have appreciated that because yeah. they can actually not even read the whole novel yeah. with classes. They can read first poem, middle poem, last poem and just work on those poems. With this the is class. the lady who made me appreciate poetry. Trust me, that is a big thing. It's, <laughs> you know, and it should be appreciated. No, but I think that's the thing. People are afraid is, of poetry. No, that's what, this is kind of, it's that kind of classic, you know, um, Making it cool, without pointing your fingers at yeah. them, but it, it, it is, it's kind of... It's, making it's it open, accessible. Yeah, it's opening yeah. up a whole new world to people who would never put it, and that to me is the most important thing as it, also. So, um, listen, it's Moonrise is available in stores and online at decents.com, and it is, I'm telling you now, box of hankies. It's absolutely <laughs> beautiful, brilliant, and then you can just dabble in and out um, and have a read of the various beautiful poems. Uh, but a, a brilliant book. Uh, congratulations, Thank and I'm you. sure we'll have multiple more awards on top of this. And um, yeah, get it now. Thank you.